Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, they're going to be checking out Crucifixion of Jesus, Khalid Yasin. Yasin, I think it's Yasin. <laughs> guys, but seriously, I feel if I'm listening to this from one way side, it's kind of strange. I think I will start reacting to Christian side too. Like, so it can be balanced at the middle then. We see, we, we see. Because based on what I have been checking out, guys, like, <laughs> I've been asking questions. I have been asking questions. Like, I went to church yesterday and I was asking questions. Guys, I need to check. I need to bring the two. I need to match the two. So, I need to match the two. Guys, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Well, the revelation that came uh, to us through that final prophet and messenger, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, in the Quran says, Verily, they crucified him not, and they killed him not. This is what evidence, revelation came to us. Now, we have confidence in that revelation. But that's because we're Muslims, and that's our revelation. But let's go to the issue itself and discuss that a little bit. Because I believe that you're sincere and you're open-minded about this issue, wouldn't you? Okay, good. On that day, when Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified, let's, let's, let, before we talk about kill, let's talk about crucifixion first. On that day that Jesus Christ was allegedly crucified. Penny, what day was that? Okay, I'll tell you it. That's all right. I'll tell you what day it was. It's what they called it Good Friday. Isn't that Friday? You remember that now? Yeah, I said, what day was that? Good Friday, wasn't it? Isn't it? And for all Jewish people, Friday at sunset, what does it become, Penny? It becomes Saturday, right? Saturday for all Jewish people is what, Penny? The Sabbath. Did you know, Penny, that no one, no Jew, could be prosecuted, persecuted, executed on the Sabbath? Do you know that? Just, I'm just. Let's just, let's follow. Let's just follow for a moment. I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. On that day, allegedly, that Jesus was taken to Golgotha and put on that cross, allegedly, what time was it, Penny? It was in the afternoon. And Penny, I asked you another question. If it was Friday afternoon, Penny, how long did it normally take for a person after they had nails driven through their hands and feet, nothing else, and put on a tree? How long did it take for a person to die? Because crucifixion is not being nailed on the cross. Crucifixion is dying on the cross. Just like if somebody was electrocuted, if I say the person's supposed to be electrocuted. Guys, I know a lot of you be like, wait, listen to him to the end and please i need to explain my point this is something i actually the way that i reaction to muslim videos like this is something i actually gained interest in i don't know why some of you think i'm chasing cloud to this but <laughs> that aside i don't really care about what pe other people think about what i'm doing for myself but this is something that i actually take personal because <laughs> i want to know the truth and that is why i've stopped hearing the music for a long while guys like I want to know the truth. And I personally take it upon myself to research about this. I don't know if you have or anyone has, but I took it upon myself to research about this. And I found out that I, Jesus actually died on the cross. Because when I, I checked it out and what a, you know, based on the story, 
they said that they gave Jesus poison on the cross and they spared him. Like they used a spell to uh, what do I call it? Like they started a spell in his stomach and water and blood gushed out. It's true that because of that memorable event, that how today's doctors as I find that there's a place in your stomach that if something, if a knife enters there or a spare, water and blood can actually come out from your stomach. That is one proof that was evident. And this is not what Christians write. Even some atheists wrote about this. People who didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God actually wrote about this amazing thing that happened. So, personally... I, I don't feel Jesus died. If I'm being honest, because I don't think he can die. He gave up the ghost quite all right, but I, I felt he left his body. I just can't use the word die in a sense because I felt he left his body. His body was lifeless, but I won't say the body was dead. Then he came back to it and resurrected after the video. Because even after the death of Jesus, there was God guiding his body because people knew he said he would rise after three days. There were soldiers guiding his body. Then the soldiers said that the disciples came to steal him at night on the third day. So th this is why I just, let's just make our research. Like, I just feel we should make our research about this. But let's listen to him now. Electrocuted, or they supposed to get an injection. If they got the injection and didn't die, were they executed? Were they? If they were put in the electric chair and the electric went all through them and they didn't die, were they executed? Okay, so if Jesus Christ was put on the cross, if he was put on the cross Friday afternoon, Nails through his hands, not his heart. Nails through his feet, not his heart. And put on the tree in order to be what? Humiliated, dehydrated, traumatized, and die a slow, agonizing death that usually took three to four days. Why would Jesus have died, Penny, in an afternoon between before sunset, if he was crucified. The guys. And this is something I need to say. Guys, based on the research I made, I came to know that Jesus was actually flogged with tongues. No, I think with, no, not tongues, but he was flogged with some whip and there were tongues on it. So the doctor actually said that if Jesus was flogged with that. He was flogged with that from, <laughs> from when he was judged. I think I've forgotten the name of the emperor, but from when he was judged till Gogota. So if he was flogged with that, he was like, there, there will be no way possible that Jesus could have survived after that much loss of blood because blood was gushing out his body if he was flogged from the the pilot, I don't really know how to call, but the emperor's place till Golgotha. He was flogged, he was stoned, and he was carrying a cross. You see, this this is event. I, I, I just feel, I wouldn't say, I feel some Muslims don't really know about the death of Christ. That's what I would say. Like, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong, but. I just want you to see it from my own perspective. Like, this is when I started reacting to Muslim videos, I was like, seeing it for the Christian perspective. So I was kind of not open. My, my heart was somehow closed. I'll be honest. Then, when I started, like, I kind of switched to see where you guys were coming from. And it actually made a lot of sense. Because if you look, at the religion very well. It actually makes a lot of sense. I'll be honest. It makes a lot of sense. And when I asked my lecturer about Islam, and he's a pastor, he was like, 
Mohammed will actually. We actually see Mohammed was sent by God. And I was like, where is the confusion then? Like, why are we not united? Like, I really wanted to know. And this is something I'm working hard to get. And if I can actually make Christians and Muslims unite, it's going to be a big blessing of my own part. Like, it's going to be amazing. And this is actually the journey, my own. This evidence I'm trying to bring out to the world, guys. Like, to make Christians and Muslims see where they are wrong and come together. I don't think anyone is perfect, to be honest. I don't think anyone is perfect. But let's just get back into this. Let's get back into this. That are in Guantanamo Bay. They have been tortured and abused. Those people that was in Gari prison, they've been tortured and abused. There are plenty of people who have been tortured and abused. A woman could be raped and beaten and tortured and abused, but that doesn't mean she was executed. Here we're talking about crucifixion. Now, since you asked the question, I'm giving it back to you in a very rational way. I didn't say he was crucified. I'm giving you a rational explanation of the issue of crucifixion. That's just one point. One, it was the afternoon, allegedly. Second thing is that if he was put up on the cross, if you remember, a Roman soldier came by and stuck a spear in his side. Do you remember that? And when he stuck the spear in his side, what happened, Penny? No, water came out. Didn't say blood, said water came out from his side. Now, it might have been water mixed with blood, but Penny, if he was dead on the cross at that time, the heart would not be beating, therefore water would not have come out. You see, this whole idea of crucifixion, he, he wasn't... it is crucifixion, but not F-I-X, like he was fixed. It's F-I-C-T-I-O-N, fiction. And the Quran, that final revelation, it says that. It says they were made to think that. In fact, another possible issue that's in the Bible, that one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, who looked very much like Jesus Christ, gave his life up for Jesus. And when they came to get Jesus, the Roman soldiers, they didn't know Jesus. Otherwise, Judas would not have sold him out for seven pieces or 13 pieces of silver. The Roman soldiers didn't know Jesus. So when they came to get Jesus, they got somebody else. Now, that's only plausible. I didn't say that's what happened. But in our revelation, it says they were made to think that they killed Jesus Christ but they crucified him not, and they killed him not. According to our revelation, Jesus Christ was spared of that crime and that humiliation, and that Almighty God sent his angel to Jesus Christ and lifted him up physically and brought him up into the heavens. And our belief is that he will come back again physically from the heavens back into the earth again. That's what our revelation tells us. Guys, the last part, like, he was like, Jesus was ascended physically, and he said his, Jesus' disciple looked exactly like him. First of all, now I'm going no Christian, but, like, I'm still trying to be open-minded to think of the possibility of what he's trying to say. I can tell you, I always try to do that. But first of all, I will say that Jesus actually told Peter, you will deny me three times before the cock crow. And after the third time, Jesus actually looked at Peter and Peter started crying. After Peter, so I don't feel this was just fabricated writings. And I know you believe in the Quran and... I believe in the Bible, and this is what was written. So you, you won't actually, like, <laughs> expect me not to just believe in what I believe in, and, you know, like, let's, let's kind of meet at one point here. Okay. So Jesus told Peter that 
before the cock crow, before the you deny me three times before the cock crow, and it actually happened. And Jesus looked at Peter and smiled, and Peter started crying. <laughs> After that, when Jesus was actually on his way to the cross, someone actually helped him. Yes, someone actually helped him carry the cross, and. After Jesus was actually, thank God he mentioned the fact that Jesus was stabbed with the spear and water actually came out from his stomach and water and blood. I feel they were trying to rush the process. Then people were like, save yourself, you came to be the son of God. And after the death of Jesus, which a lot of people don't believe in, there was something significant that happened that day. I won't say, but do your research. There was something significant that happened that day. I think earthquake and a lot of things. But this is why people who actually killed him felt that we have done something evil against God. Like, not evil per se, because the death of Jesus was supposed to happen, but he was here to save us. And we're supposed to kind of protect him. Even people who he saved still persecuted him. That, that, is, that is the irony of the story, guys. Like, the story is actually very, very sad. But after that, he was actually resurrected from the cross. And two, two, like, yes, two women actually saw that the tube had been pushed aside and Jesus was no longer in the tube. And there were soldiers actually guiding them, but they fall into a deep sleep. Then Jesus walked out. Well, after that, because I feel if Jesus didn't that, he could have told his disciples that, yo, I didn't die. I was escaped. Well, he showed them his hand and he was actually nailed to the cross. So I don't really understand where the... I don't know where it's coming from, to be honest. I don't know where the distance of the truth is coming from, but... Guys, then what do you think about it? I, I will still want you to actually make your own research. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.